Uh, okay, so we left last and said that we were going to answer the question or at least attempt to skirt around the, <laughs> the question uh, that somebody wrote in, how much is ABA therapy out of pocket? That's a loaded question. Right. Well, yeah. and, and my answer is always more than anyone can afford. Yes. Um, I, I love years and years ago, Holly Robinson Pete wrote a blog, The Eight Things That Everyone Should Know About Autism, and number one is no one can afford it. Yes. Uh, on their on their own, and I always took that as well. Holly is, you know, mm -hmm. somebody who probably has a little bit of money, and she knows Oprah. They're friends. She's friends with Oprah. So I assume if Holly says no one can afford it, then that means Oprah can't afford it, which means none of us can afford it. Um, so there's that. Uh, but then it's a deeper question: the out of pocket. Do you want to like <laughs> hazard a guess? Oh, I don't even want to guess because. If you are, if this is 40 hours a week and you're doing anything four hours a week, it's a month's salary. Yeah. So just think about that. And then you think about all of, there's different levels of people. Yeah. And, um, I mean, it's a business in itself. Yeah. Before, I mean, I'm very thankful now that we have actually, there is funding, you know? Yes. The majority of the states, you know, in the federal mandate to cover autism has really helped and opened the field up to people of every um, SES level. Yeah. And it's, it's an amazing thing because when I started doing this and ABA first came out, all the families I knew were all selling their houses yeah. so they could pay for ABA for their child. And it's not just ABA, it's all the doctors and if you have any biomedical issues along with it. Yeah. And then if there's any food related, then you're only buying certain kinds of food. And I mean, it just goes on and on and no one can really afford it. Yeah. Years and years ago, um, I mean, I think it was it's over 10 years ago that my son started ABA therapy. Uh, it was paid for by the regional center. And we had 40 hours of ABA for a good portion of our first year of ABA. And the regional center sends you not a bill, but it's like a bill. And it shows you, here's what we paid for your kid. And I think the first year, and, and keep in mind, this is 10 years ago, uh, I think the first year was $140,000. And that was just, you know, for that first year. Uh, so keep that in mind. But I also want to say on the flip side of that, that we know people who have been able to implement an, with a great deal of work, yes. implement an ABA program in their home and get their child to the point where their child no longer qualifies for a diagnosis of autism and they did it essentially for zero dollars. Um, because, and I'm thinking of, uh, there's the family, um, Maddie, that at the very beginning of Skills, when Skills was just coming out, yeah. one of the things that Dr. Grampiche did was that she gave Skills to the world for free for a year and said, use this in any way that you can, um, learn from this in any way that you can for a full year. And Maddie's family just happened to be one of the first families that signed up for it on day one. Mm -hmm. And they got together their church and their community and they trained everybody. And that was back when skills had the component of it where you could teach people as well. Now that's separate. So there's Institute for Behavioral Training and Skills, mm -hmm. but they had all access to all of that for free mm -hmm. and trained everyone. And they implemented a 40 hour program with their daughter, with volunteers and got her to the point where she no longer qualified for a diagnosis of autism and, and you know, essentially zero dollars. Essentially zero dollars, a lot of people power. A lot of manpower, yeah, yes, sweat equity. Um, Definitely. There. And if you wanted to do that, if you wanted to do what they did, that's still available to you. As we said, it would be skills and IBT and you having to get together and train with using IBT, a group of volunteers. It wouldn't be entirely for free, but it would be so low cost. Yes. Uh, to do the full RBT training on IBT. RBT is the Registered Behavior Technician. And if you bought it for one person, you'd be able to do it for many more people because yeah. you have the videos. So you could train a team. I think that would it would be under $500 to do the whole training. And then you could have access to skills. Um, and skills for one child is, a, I believe it's, I believe it's around $70 a month, but I think that there is an Autism Live discount. So you should ask for the Friends and Family Autism Live discount for that. So it would be like $500 and around $70 a month and all of your time. 
Yeah, and this is what families do around the world right now. Yep. There are so many people who live far, far away in remote areas of the world, and there is no other choice. They have people around them, and they have the Internet, and yep. basically they take the two together, and they work really hard to teach their kids. Yep. And it's a lot of work. It's families, parents have said, it's like I had to build a business. Yeah. And put it into place and be the employee for my own child That's and right. everybody working with them. And, you know, families have told me the way they've gotten through it is they just, in their mind, they're like, we just have to be in an emergency mode for a couple of years. That's right. If I can do this for a couple of years and my child, there's a chance my child can come out of this and not show any signs and go on to live a uh, typical life, then this is worth it. Yeah. And that's what drives those families, really, to work that hard, to put it, it's worth all of it, you know, if at the end... Your kid comes out and everybody tells you it was all in your imagination, which is frustrating, yeah. but amazing. Yes, and, and I'm at that side of the mountain now where, and I look back and I go, I don't, I don't know how we did what we did. I know how much help we had, and I didn't have to be the project manager. I was so lucky that I lived at a card place, and even that was so overwhelming to me that I had a nervous breakdown. Yeah. You know, so please don't think that I'm saying that it's an easy thing to do. But I I managed to get through all that, and I've seen other families be the project manager for it and get through it, so I know it's possible. Yeah. Um, and, and really, I, I think one of the things that was said to me early on, and I really took it to heart, was somebody said, stop thinking about what it costs in terms of time and money, because that's time and money that you just spent on that. Just do it. I, and I always go back to the analogy of the mountain, that um, when you want to climb a mountain and you stand at the foot of the mountain and look up, it looks insurmountable. Um, but you have that idea of the peak in your head and you start walking up the mountain. And once you get on the mountain, you can no longer see the peak. You see the path in front of you. And you have to take it step by step. But you have to keep the idea of the peak in your mind but it's more manageable once you're actually on the mountain. Definitely. So do that with autism and make up your mind that it doesn't matter how much it costs, that you're going to find a way to make it work that other people have and that you will too. Even now, I look back and I don't understand how, how the math worked. And it's okay. You know, it, it ultimately worked it, it worked out. It you did everything for your kid, and it was worth it. So, and it paid off. And it paid off. And you know, so many families maybe they don't get the same result. Yeah. But families tell me, you know what, my kid's happy. Yeah. They have a way to communicate. Yes. Has things he enjoys. Yep. You know, is an active part of a household. Yep. Not in the way that the family thought, but was going to be before they were born. Right. But now, I mean, as a 20, 30 something old adult, is a fully functioning member of their household and is a happy kid and ultimately yes. for every parent. That's you know, the thing. That's the thing. And I will say this even though everybody has a different outcome and, um, and, and looking at those outcomes, you know, I mean, you know which one you want, yeah. but everybody has a different outcome. And of all the families that I know, of the ones who went all in, who did everything that they could, nobody has any regrets about that. Exactly. I have never heard a single parent who went all in for ABA say later on, you know what, I wish I had that time back. I would do something different. But what I do hear are the parents who did ABA, but they didn't do it all in, go, gosh, I don't think we ended up where we meant to. Yeah. And they have all this guilt and angst about, did we do enough? So I, I firmly tell you, for your, for your kid's sake and for your own gut lining, go all in yep. for a, a few years. Yep. Think of it, I, I love Dr. Jonathan Tarbox I always just say, think of it like getting your kid ready for the Olympics. It's not the rest of your life. It's just this amount of time that you're going to devote, but you got to go all in because you can't have any regrets. Yep. So there we go. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.